Let's get on to the big financial and economic news today. And as expected, the Reserve Bank has lifted the cash rate by another 50 basis points, another half a percentage to 1.35% now. Today's rise will add an extra $230 a month to repayments on an $800,000 mortgage. A short time ago, Treasurer Jim Chalmers admitted there's not a whole lot the government can do to help household budgets. It is a fact, not an opinion that government changed hands at a time of high and rising inflation, rising interest rates, falling real wages, uh, natural disasters to contend with as well. And our ability to respond to a lot of these challenges is constrained by the fact that there is a uh, trillion dollars of debt in the budget. No, he's just saying it's all too hard there, is he? Let's bring in Gareth Ed, the Commonwealth Bank's Head of Australian Economics. Good to talk to you again, Gareth. Uh, this is going to create a lot of pain for mortgage holders. I've been hearing some commentators say today that especially those who have only entered the housing market in the last couple of years, they'll feel the pain the most. Why is that? G'day, Chris. Look, they will be the ones that feel the pain the most um, because they're borrowed at rock bottom interest rates and they've experienced uh, rate rises without getting any rate relief. And there's actually a lot of people that are borrowed in the last couple of years. And I'd suggest that some of those people borrowed in part because they thought the Reserve Bank was going to leave rates on hold uh, until 2024, which is, which is what they were saying. So there are many people out there who have borrowed uh, a lot of money at a very low interest rate. They're experiencing an increase in that interest rate. And unfortunately for a lot of those people now, they're seeing the value of the home that they bought actually come down given home prices in particular in Sydney and Melbourne are, are falling. So it's creating a little bit of angst out there. We're seeing that in the consumer confidence surveys. And I think there's a little bit more to run here, uh, given the RBA is likely to push through with some further rate hikes before we're, we're through with it, uh, before we get to the year's end. It's such an important point. People would have listened to the Reserve Bank and taken some consolation about rates not going up and now they're mm. hit by this. Uh, mortgages are big these days and those interest rates really do add a lot to repayments, uh, monthly repayments. It's going to be thousands of dollars a month for a lot of people over the next year or so. Where do you expect interest rates will top out and do you expect we'll start seeing some, some uh, foreclosures in coming months? Well, in the near term, interest rates will continue to go higher. The Reserve Bank governor uh, said as much today in his statement. Now, it's up for debate how, how much higher they'll go. But we think at Commonwealth Bank, I'll probably take the cash rate to around 2.1%, uh, maybe 2.35%. So we've still got uh, probably another 75 uh, to 100 basis points of hikes to come through, uh, which is going to hit people. Um, and this is the thing, the Reserve Bank's cash rate tool is quite a blunt instrument in terms of putting downward pressure on inflation. Now, the rate of inflation at the moment is, is too high in Australia, but there's very little in some respects they can do about you know, what, what, the, what the floods on the East Coast have done in terms of food prices, what the war in Ukraine has done uh, to oil prices and the energy prices more broadly, but they will proceed with, with rate hikes uh, in an effort to try and get inflation down and that's going to have an impact, uh, particularly, as you mentioned from the outset, on those people that have borrowed money uh, more recently. In terms of foreclosures, though, um, generally that's related to what happens in the, in the labour market. And we're still of the view at, at Commonwealth Bank that the unemployment rate will stay pretty low through this period. So what we're expecting is growth in the economy to slow, uh, consumer spending, which has been at very elevated levels, to come off a little bit, uh, but not enough to cause people to lose their jobs. And that's going to be the key thing in terms of ensuring that people don't uh, default on their home loan. What ends up happening is um, people will find a way to meet their repayments, but generally, as rates are going up, they have to stop their spending on discretionary items. Yep. Now, you don't want too many people doing that at the same time because suddenly then you know, people are employed in these discretionary uh, sectors, particularly on the services side. Well. You know, if we're not all spending in, in certain parts of the economy there, then you've got a problem for the labour market. So I think all that ultimately means that the Reserve Bank, there's a limit to how high they can take the cash rate. Uh, they'll certainly take a little bit higher in the near term, but you know, we're of the view at the bank that this tightening cycle, as we call it, will be relatively shallow by historic standards. And we're not on board with the idea with, with some other commentators and, that, and what the market's got priced is that the cash rate is going all the way up to around 3.5%. Let's hope you're right, Gareth. Thanks so much for that.
Cheers, Chris. Gareth, Ed there from the Commonwealth Bank. Uh, you heard it there. People, if they can keep your job, you can keep find a way to make your mortgage uh, repayments. And if the Reserve Bank gets this right, they won't tip us into recession. Let's hope that is the case.